be doing a uh, normal roadside tow today. We're going to be picking up a 2024 Cadillac Lyric, which is Cadillac's uh, EV, their electric vehicle. Um, not sure if it's just completely dead or if it runs and they are having it towed to the dealership for some kind of concern or what. I'm um, going to have to kind of figure it out once we get there. So. We are headed that way. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so we found it. I'm going to uh, get my pictures of it here. I've already made contact with the uh, customer here. Got the keys for it. He said the other day when they parked it that it wouldn't run. They were throwing some kind of error messages or something. A couple close up pictures. So they parked it here and then it, uh, started like the next day or something so there's a chance that we could get this thing to drive under its own power at least get it into neutral we ain't gotta skate it bunch of pictures looks like it's already woke up here thing is nice. Let's see. Showing that it's on. I wonder. I really need this thing to be not parked in front of this tree. Reverse. It moves. I'm just going to back this thing up right here. Like that. That way it will not be right in front of that tree because it was parked in a not very good spot there. I'm going to go ahead and back in, get this thing loaded up. Alright, let's get this thing loaded up. This one's going to be a little different. Because as most electric vehicles, they have a fairly specific towing procedure not following the towing procedure can void the uh, factory warranties which of course something like this I don't even want to know what out of pocket repairs would cost I see all kinds of horror stories online about warranties and insurance and stuff not covering the cost of batteries and all kinds of stuff there's even been a few where towing companies haven't uh, followed the towing procedure and got stuck with a hefty damage claim so we are going to make sure we follow our towing procedure is going to be a lot of extra work that we probably don't really even have to do but we're going to follow it anyways so one of the procedures is you have to use a uh, the tow pin 
it specifically states toe pin is the only attachment that you can use on these things toe pin is supposed to be located back here if we can find the touch pad is there a button for it toe pin should be back here I'm assuming Toe pin located in trunk. It's inside of this thing. I do not see a toe pin. Velcro loops are supposed to hold it down and it's not so I'm assuming this thing's been towed before so there is this little slot right here you can pry down on I have a uh, little small screwdriver. I used to have a non-marring trim tool for this, but it's come up missing. So if you get you just barely pop this down it comes out without any problems. Just like that. You can Screw in the toe hook into the threaded hole. It's reverse threads. So now a good idea to uh, when you do this to uh, hook your snatch block up so you're going to forget to grab my soft shackle to route my chain directly through that toe pin and put my uh, chafe guard down here on the chain side of the slot Get it. And then what we're going to do is hook up our chain here. Hook our winch to 
underneath here. So now, when this comes tight, your uh, winch is pulling straight on that toe pin because those things have a habit of snapping off whenever they are pulled at an angle. So now we can all but make it pull straight in where we're wanting it to go. But we are also going to hook up this here as a uh, catch strap. One more saw shackle. All of this is part of the factory towing procedure, believe it or not. They have pretty well thought this one through. Some of the EV towing procedures are fairly vague. So, we'll make one more final check of our rigging here. It's on. Catch strap is on. That's hooked up. We're going to re gauge our winch. Snug it up. Check this chain to make sure we are good. Everything's good there. Well, let's get this thing into neutral. I'm going to buckle our seat belt. That's how you keep the vehicle in neutral. That is drive. We want neutral. That is neutral. I do not see parking brake on. Roll that window down so we can. I don't know if you can hear the noise that it's making but that's the sound they have to make EVs make to let you know that it is in motion all of our wheels are rolling of course it's going to move slower than normal because we have our snatch block on it and that slows slows the pull down it also doubles our pulling power which is nice because most of these things are pretty heavy I'll have to look up the uh, curb weight on one of these I'll put it here in the video these electric vehicles are notoriously heavy for what they are. Look a little bit more. Don't really want to come up too far on the uh, toe pins because they are so. Uh, finicky about pulling at an angle with how it's rigged how we have it there it's not pulling down on it too bad this thing put it back into the park do we have a 
set our parking brake. Make sure it's off. We are good to go. Now, another part of the towing procedure states that you use the eight point straps to secure it. Now this thing is pretty heavy. I just watched my suspension load. It only doesn't do that if I have like a full size truck or something on it. We are loaded to the rear quite a bit. Just because of how the uh, toe pins and stuff are on these things. So this particular one, I'm going to put my ratchets on the insides. all this stuff up shit's ready grab my eight point straps these are my diamond weave eight point straps from DG Towing Supply up in Fort Worth. Just perfect for these high end vehicles or classics or anything that has polished wheels. custom wheels, powder coated, anything like that. Toss those over there. Now, I'm going to hook these up here. These are pretty long. So I like to run them out a little bit. There's not so much tag into the strap hanging out loose that you have to tie up. Fish these around the wheels. Of course, most modern vehicles have some kind of ABS wires or stuff like that right behind the wheel so make sure you're sensitive you're watching what's back there which this particular one it doesn't look like there's anything back there so generally you keep your strap on the back side up high and you want the wishbone here down towards the middle of your wheel Generally, kind of X the straps a little bit to take up more room. Nice and tight. So, we got this thing loaded up. We are going to get it hauled over to the dealership. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so we're out here at the Cadillac dealership up in Houston. We're going to get this thing dropped off. Since it runs, they want us to put it on the service drive.
these eight points off and we'll get this thing unloaded. Got the eight point straps off. Get our bed laid down here and get this thing rolled off. Get our remote here in just a second. I didn't get the keys. Alright. Get this thing. Neutral and park brake released. Let this thing roll down. And it takes a little bit longer than it normally does because of that snatch block. Traffic coming through. All right, Get this thing put back into park. Park, and so we'll turn it off so we're not burning battery power. Get this thing uh, unhooked here. To get my snatch block, cat strap, and all that stuff off of it. I'm gonna spare you guys the boredom of all that. This goes the other way. They put their tow hook back up. I'm just glad this thing runs. Supposedly before it was it was not running and if you watch any of my uh, videos in the past these things are kind of a uh, any of the electrics are uh, kind of a pain to tow whenever they uh, don't run so we we're going to get this dropped off over here at the dealership get the paperwork to the service riders and let them get this thing worked on and back to the customer Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all would, please subscribe, like, and share.